cake. I journeyed over. We were dropping the cake off in Kimberley, uh, which isn't too far away from us, and uh, Ilkeston's not too far away. So I messaged um, the the owner of the Burnt Pig Macro Pub in Ilkeston, and basically it's an award-winning pub. It's like it's won the best pub in Ilkeston for like five years. So fair play there. It's an amazing pub when you walk inside. The bar clips on the ceiling and all throughout. The atmosphere, you know. Absolutely amazing. There were six beers on the bar, um, and many ciders, food in food in there. You know, top class little little micro pub, and I love the way it's done. Anyway, managed to pick up five beers, so I'll talk about the beers I picked up. So the first one is Talisman, and that's Bristol Beer Factory. Um, let me bring Bristol Bay Factory up. So this is a New Zealand IPA, Nelson Sabin and Pacifica hops. 5% ABV, a banger of a New Zealand IPA. Um, Nelson Sabin, what a hop, tropical fruit, combined it with the less heralded citrusy New Zealand cousin Pacifica. Pacifica, if that's how you pronounce it. In this dual hop series, showpiece for New Zealand hops, full bodied and ready for those winter pub nights. Pale golden IPA with flavour and sessionability to burn. Sounds absolutely amazing, also. So that's number one. From Durham Brewery, who do seem to be um, putting their stuff on the beer review community quite a bit. This is Magus, or Magus, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, and this is, um, beer type is a pale ale, read more, 3.8% pale ale, yeah, best selling beer as well. Simple pale malts provide a base for a complex blend of hops. The colour is very pale with lemon, citrus and floral flavours, progressing to a spicy mouthfeel and a clean earthy bitterness in the finish, gluten free. So yeah, there we go, top notch. So next on the list is from acorn brewery and it's golovka so it's, it says it's an imperial stout i'm not sure if it was six or eight percent six percent it is classed as an imperial okay uh, a deep malt and hoppy aroma with licorice throughout roast malt fruit and hops and also carry through this full-bodied stout um the the man in charge the the proprietor he actually said he drinks this all day long because it's amazing. So, fair play to that. Next on the list is Rapture by Bottlebrook. Now, I don't think I actually managed. What's that? Oh, yeah, Rapture by Bottlebrook. And the good man Vince. Was actually drinking this six hours ago apparently <laughs> and Vince Vince Lee um, Nottingham camera he, he uh, supports his micro pubs and uh, yeah drinking it on cask so rapture 5.9 percent can't get any more details about it to be fair so I will try and find some before I review it which is going to be in the next day finally and more importantly for me, being a local Nottingham person, I managed to pick up some chicken. <laughs> Urban chicken, as it were. Forgotten Worlds. From the, uh, oh, pay off. From the good man Darren. A local microbrewery, you know, a little nano brewery, brews out of his garage. He's now cuckoo brewing at, at Alter Ego Brewing. And this is. is American pale ale called Forgotten Worlds. A nicely balanced APA, pale malt and caramel providing a steady malt, malt backbone combining, what does it say, with a fair whack of centennial hops. So yeah, it looks nice. And that is my beer haul. Um, I've got a pint of that. So I should be drinking a pint of that later tonight. And uh, cheers everyone, cracking beer haul. Cheers to the Mr. To the good people at the Burnt Pig as well. Um, lovely establishment you've got there. And I'll be coming in more regular. Because I can't get old of the, the Chicken Man. His beers. Anyway, I struggle. And when you said you got it all day. 
that was good enough for me to come down. Cheers. See you soon.